serious things. Uh, Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer's stance on the Israel-Hamas war has come under fresh pressure. Um, Shadow Minister Imran Hussein has resigned from the front bench, he says, in order to advocate strongly for a ceasefire. This comes amid reports that rebel Labour MPs could team up with the SNP to try and force a vote on a ceasefire, which one third of Labour MPs have defied their leader and called for. I'm joined right now by former Labour MP, suspended actually by the party before the 2019 general election, Chris Williamson. Uh, good morning to you. Morning, Julia. Long Thank time no see. Long time no see. You used to come in the studios and, uh, and, and chat with us. Um, it's good to, to have you uh, join us. Um, Let's talk first of all about the resignation uh, of this uh, Labour front bench. I have to look him up because I've never heard of the guy. Uh, Imran uh, Hussein, um, he's a shadow minister, he's resigned. Some may say he, he may be the first of a number of front benches who want to resign. We've already seen councillors en masse resigning. A couple of days ago, the leader of Burnley Council and another 10 Labour councillors, they resigned now, standing as, now sitting as independents because they say the Labour leader, Keir Starmer, he should be advocating for a full ceasefire in Gaza and not simply for tactical pauses to get in humanitarian aid. Um, do you agree with Imran Hussain? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think Sir Keir Starmer's got this completely wrong, but then he said he's a Zionist without qualification, and clearly that means supporting a medieval siege when he was asked the question on LBC whether Israel had the right to cut off water, cut off energy. He said, yes, they do have that right. He's tried to... Well, he, said, he says position, he was answering but... a different question. Far be it from well, me I to... Uh, I mean, the question was very, very here. direct. Do you support cutting off water and mm. energy? And he said, yes, they have that right. The right but look, so I he, mean, was saying he was saying the right know, self-defence. That's, that's what he says. Anyway. Well, but, I mean, you know, his position in relation to to Israel is, is, is on the record. I mean, as I've already said in his leadership campaign, he said he supported... Uh, Zionism without qualification and, um, you know, the stance that he's taken on the war has been absolutely shocking. And indeed, shocking? the stance of the Labour Party as a whole has been absolutely appalling when we're seeing a genocide taking place before our very eyes. And, you know, no protests are, or meaningful protests are coming forward from the official opposition in this country, a, a party that traditionally had a very strong pro-peace element within it, but well, wait, hold on a minute. I, I, I think, those, I think, I think the been, destruction uh, of Hamas, resigned or expelled. Chris Williamson, the, the destruction of Hamas would actually promote peace, would it not? Um, you said it's well, shocking. No, it wouldn't, you... Julia, because you've got that completely wrong. Have Let I? me stop you there, because Israel has been uh, subjugating, oppressing, and terrorizing the Palestinian people for 75 years, ever since mm -hmm. it was established. And indeed, when Israel was founded, it was founded on the basis of uh, expelling uh, three quarters of a million Palestinians from their home, massacring many, many others. We then expanded still further in 1967 and the occupations, the illegal occupations under international law, and the demolitions, basically okay. the people are, are just removed from right, their Chris, home Chris, by we, the Israeli We haven't got time to do the entire history, history of the wrong. Middle East, I'm afraid. Um, that These are well-rehearsed arguments. Now, the point is... Yeah, but, but don't, don't then just say, though, Julia, that it's, you know, this is all Hamas, because the people that are responsible for the violence... No, are no, the, the, only, the only reason why Israel is bombing... Gaza right now, and they've got to send IDF forces into Gaza City. The only reason they're doing that right now is because Hamas organised and sent thousands of terrorists to brutally massacre, torture, rape, well, look, murder, and take law, hostage Julia. innocent Israeli law, civilians. No, oh, you don't want to get oh, you don't want to get into that. But let's talk about what happened 75 years ago. No, 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 because you're making a point that you know, oh, this is all down to Hamas, as if you know, history started on October the seventh. I, no, I, do I do don't know. I'm not saying that history started on no, October the seventh. Let me just make but this point. But this latest war people... started on October the seventh, and it was declared why, by Hamas. Why... No, I'm sorry, you're wrong. No, it wasn't. Why did the why did those resistance fighters resistance make that incursion fighters. into occupied Palestine? Resistance fighters. Chris, it's because every Chris, single hang on resistance every fighters single don't instance. behead children in their cots. Chris, but that is rubbish. And that's what do you mean? Been, what's that's rubbish? Been totally debunked. It's been no, it debunked. Hasn't been and debunked. The journalist who, just no, it hasn't the been debunked. To even made that allegation, no, apologised because quite... there is absolutely the no evidence. The forty-two figure was debunked. I'm but... sorry, this is just Zionist propaganda that we are. The, the, the mainstream media is is regurgitating whilst the genocide is happening before our very this eyes. Is... And you know, you're, the, you you're can't completely say that factually wrong. 
You cannot say that history started on the... I didn't uh, say history started. October. The bombing... Well, Look, you want to see... Chris, that's you want to see fire in Gaza. It would be great if there wasn't bombing of Gaza. The bombing of Gaza began in response to what Hamas resistance fighters, you call them, terrorists is what the murderous, well, raping, torturing well, terrorists is what the well, rest of us who are well, saying one, call them. One, the rape allegations are not true. Two, the oh beheadings my God. didn't take place. Is there and anything? Three, is the there anything law, you won't lie about? Is there anything you people won't lie about? Occupied, people are, who are occupied have a right under international law to armed resistance. And every single they attempt have a right at under a independent, people resolution... They have a right under international Nigeria, law every single to murder attempt children at, and take hostages. Judy, you like to talk over people, but every single attempt at a peaceful resolution has been spurned by the Zionist entity. The Look, Zionist back entity. to the Great March of Return. You're not in a Corbyn rally now, you know. When unarmed Palestinians were marching towards the Israeli fence and they were picked off like shooting fish in a barrel, shot by Israeli snipers using exploding bullets. Right. Absolutely disgraceful. Shooting journalists, shooting medical staff, people who are attending people who've been shot. The Oslo Accord, again, has been totally right. can we, disregarded can we get back to by today? the Zionist regime. And so in a situation where people are oppressed and have been oppressed for 75 years, when their homes are being occupied, yes. when we are seeing demolitions, forced demolitions Chris, on a darling, daily gonna, basis. I'm going to be off air on 2, one. Over 2,000 people, over 2,000, you talk about hostages, 2,000 Palestinians have been taken hostage. They haven't been taken the hostage, Zionist they're being entity. held by the yes, Israeli they government. Yes, administrative detention. Uh, char you know, in prison, in Israeli dungeons, yeah. no charge, no due process. What's that if it's not a hostage right. situation? I, Chris, I don't defend everything the Israeli government does now and has done. I'm, I'm definitely well, not a fan you, of Benjamin Netanyahu. Then, yeah. However, uh, I'm a big fan of... I let you speak for ages. I'm a big fan of Israel's right to exist and the Jewish people's rage, right to exist. Me. The trouble is, the trouble is, I don't think you are. And that's my issue. You work quite happily, take money from the uh, the, 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 government, the Iranian government-owned press TV. Iranian government would quite happily see Israel wiped from the planet, the Jewish people eradicated from the planet, murdered. And you're quite happy you know to take the their biggest... money. And I don't know how you can look you yourself the... in the mirror every day. Do you know where the biggest uh, Jewish population lives in the Middle East, Julia, outside of Israel? Do you I'm know sure that? you tell me. It's in Iran. I'm sure they're having a where lovely time. So don't don't give me this nonsense about uh, about Iran and uh, you know Iran the fact that Hamas uh, I, I and Hezbollah present, who want the eradication I, I, of the Jewish well, people. Iran supports all of the resistance factions, yeah. and indeed, I okay. would believe that all decent governments should be supporting liberation for the Palestinian people. Let's go back because they've been oppressed for seventy five years, and it's Let an absolute scandal. It's a it's a crime against humanity. What oh, the Israelis oh, we're talking about crimes against humanity the, now, are we? Yes, by the Israeli regime. Let's talk about absolutely. Let's talk about the ceasefire calls. Um, many, many, including Keir Starmer, are calling for a, sort of a temporary truce, a, tem a temporary, yeah. a temporary a a pause, a pa not a truce, a pause in the fighting to get humanitarian aid in. Um, we can get aid in, of course, it'll be needed again in the future. Who do you think a ceasefire would benefit? Because the concern is, by those who are not calling for a ceasefire, including Keir Starmer and the, 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 the Prime Minister of the Conservative government as well, is that actually a ceasefire only benefits Hamas, who can rearm, uh, reorganise themselves, and then can continue uh, their uh, attacks on the Israeli uh, civilian people. Do you think that actually a ceasefire will in any way benefit the ordinary people of Gaza, ordinary civilians, including children? Well, they're being massacred on a daily basis, Julia, at the moment. So, of course, a ceasefire would be beneficial to the people living in Why are they Gaza, being which is let's remember, which is let's remember, is a concentration camp. It's not it's, a concentration it's, it's, camp. Well, I'm sorry, How Julia. How dare you use that phrase? How prison. dare you? It, well, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Are, are Palestinians, are Palestinians well, working gas chambers in Gaza? Julia, what is the definition of a concentration <laughs> camp? I, I'm just so People appalled. are penned in. They you are not seem allowed like to a normal person. Nobody is allowed you seem to go like a normal person with Gaza. normal values. They have a fence around them. And they are oppressed. Seem... They are daily. They are regularly bombarded by the Israeli regime. It, what an absolute outrage! And how you can defend a regime which is behaving worse than Nazis, actually, in some worse respect. Worse than Nazis. There we go. Yes, worse absolutely. Than Nazis. Because the... what we are seeing 
Chris, thousands of children have been murdered by this Chris, Israeli why regime. Don't we, why don't we just Over say, time? why don't you just come on this when, show when and just shout, I hate Jewish people, and save no, everyone what, time? What, what do you say about the Jewish people then that have joined the rallies in some marches in support of a ceasefire, in support of the Palestinian people? What do you say about them, Julia? Because there are thousands of Jews who are utterly opposed there are thousands, to the Israeli regime. Tens of thousands of Jews in this country who are terrified about what is happening because terrified of people of like you, who are basically saying Nonsense. you support terrorist organisations that don't Nonsense. think that our Israel or the Jewish people the have a right to Julia, exist. The terrorist organisation is the Israeli regime. They are the terrorists. They're a democratically elected government. The They're a democratically elected the government. Palestinian... They are not a They're prescribed not terrorist organisation which Hamas is. Because the Palestinians living in Israel have not got a vote. So don't give me that nonsense Sorry. about... There are the, plenty of Arab... The, uh, no, no if, you're pal if you're not an Israeli national, and there are plenty of Arab Israelis who are, you do have a vote in Israel. Well, I, I'm sorry, Julia, you need to actually look that there are tens of thousands, if not millions, of uh, Palestinians living in the area outside of, the, uh, uh, outside of uh, Gaza who do not have a vote. And indeed, it's an absolutely ap apartheid regime. There's no doubt about it's apartheid that. Regime. I mean, it's... it's not an apartheid regime. I mean, <laughs> for goodness sake, there's... Such by in what way? Is, Israel by is not Salem. an apartheid regime. And there is Israeli... nothing you can... I Hold mean, on a minute. Just a talk Salem, nonsense. Which is an Israeli human rights organisation, has condemned its own government as an apartheid regime. Even, Desmond Tutu. Even though, Desmond even Tutu, though Arab Tutu, Israelis Desmond live freely Tutu. in the country, have Hold the vote, to, have senior Hold jobs, to, including wrong, including I'm senior sorry, judges, wrong, senior, wrong, running the central bank. Archbishop yeah, apartheid Desmond, regime, right. Archbishop Desmond Tutu said that it's a regime, this, the system there is the worst form of apartheid just, than the, worst the form uh, of apartheid. African experience. But let me put it like this to you then. Let's put an analogy. Let's assume the government of this country decided that England was for the Anglo-Saxons and said that all non-Anglo-Saxons would have to move and live in Cornwall. And any Anglo-Saxon, anybody with Anglo-Saxon heritage from around the world could come in to this country and any of the 25% or so remaining in England who weren't um, Anglo-Saxons, they would be discriminated against. Would you call that racist? Would you call that apartheid? Would you call that wrong? Because there are that plenty is of Muslims, that's plenty that's of Arabs happening. who live in Israel, right who, are mem who are Israeli citizens, who live freely and happily and, and are just as appalled by what you call a, 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 some sort of armed insurrection, what I would call, because I'm sane and not an anti-Semite, I would call a terrorist attack on... on well, are you accusing me of being an anti-Semite then, I'm, Julia? I'm wondering why someone would say some of the things you say. Well, because I believe in uh, I believe in, in justice, I believe in liberation in for, for people, self-determination self for people. Final question, because we've got to go. Uh, Chris, stolen. Chris, finish talking. Final question to you. At the same time as calling for a ceasefire, would you also called on Hamas to release all of those hostages, including elderly grandmothers and babies? Hamas have offered to release all of those... No, no, they don't uh, have to offer. No, 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 that's not what I asked you. A, offering, they have the hostages, they don't have to offer, they can just sort of... Israel said there won't be a ceasefire, finish? even a discussion of one, until Are they get the hostages back. Have you called on, do you call on now, Hamas, to Hamas. release the hostages they could Hamas. do it today? Hamas have offered to release all of the people that they took on October the 7th in exchange for the hostages that the Israeli regime have taken. And let's remember, they've increased the number of hostages since October it's the so 7th. Painful. There are daily raids taking so place painful. in the West Bank, which you never seem to talk about, you never seem to be interested. Around 150 Palestinians have been murdered by the Palestinian okay, security Okay, Chris, we're going to have to go. You're not, so you're not calling on Hamas to release the hostages, well, then? And you're not calling on... Well, you when, you when I hear you call on the Israeli government to release the hostages that they've taken they don't, and release the... Government, the, the, government's don't, the, the then, Israeli government then, hasn't got then, hostages, then, they have prisoners. Then, Yes, I'm sorry. What do you think administrative detention is then if it's not a hostage situation? It's People are snatched detention. from the street. Palestinians are snatched from the street, thrown in Israeli dungeons with no due process. For no reason with, at with all. No, with no they were just charge. Sitting in the kibbutz even, equivalent, and they yeah. can be kept there. Chris, I've got to leave it. I've got to leave it because, because my blood pressure isn't going to take much more. So, um, no, nor is mine, Julia. And I'm shocked that you're not bothered about the appalling 
yeah. genocide, which is happening you, before I'm, our very I'm eyes. I'm just no shocked by every single only, word that focus, comes out of your, your mouth. Your focus is, 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 is on Tell the you what, Chris, resistance fighting. I'll carry on. I'm going to chat to my presenter's friend. Israel Chris, you go back. You like. keep taking the shilling from the Iranian government. And, you know, the one, the one, the one that happily kills girls for not wearing headscarves properly. And you, you live with yourself true. and you look at yourself in the mirror. I'm done. Chris Williamson, former Labour MP. Thank God not a Labour MP anymore.